it was fun. I had a good time uh, doing the first live stream. So I don't know. Figure I may just keep playing with this and see what we can do for uh, for future results. So um, so yeah. So no, look, it's pretty exciting. So we'll see how this goes. But um, in terms of the next steps, we're going to be doing here is uh, we have uh, our we've got our blender, we got the corn chowder doing uh, doing its thing, and uh, the, the the magic of being offline is I was able to um, finish our the rolls this morning and then also uh, go ahead and um, get the cream warmed up also. Let's jump into it. Turn on the background music. I like to I like to cook with the uh, background music, so hopefully it's not too distracting. Um, so, anyways, get the blender right here, and then over here you're gonna see that. Uh, check this out. You guys are gonna love this. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Look at this! Look at that! Uh, it's like to die for. I wish you guys could smell this. I know I keep saying that. I'm sorry about that. And then um, what you can see here is you can see that uh, that's going to be the the cream that's warmed up. So I'm just going to put this over here. Let's get this bad boy uh, centered. And then, um, so yeah, let's get this centered and we're, we're going to be good to go. Remember, don't, for, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. When I keep, uh, I don't know, as, as I like to, I want to keep doing this kind of thing. And uh, hopefully you guys find it entertaining as I keep trying new recipes. And um, yeah, you can check in to see how I see how I do it. So I'm going to take, the, take my heating pad that I was not using before. And then I'm going to uh, just gonna leave, that on the, just gonna leave that on the oven. And then take this. And then what I do is... Uh, just scoop it straight into scoop it, scoop it straight into the blender. You need to do like two or three scoops each time. And if you come across a bay leaf or any of the any of the additional spices you put in there, just take those out. You don't need that. And then uh, keep it on uh, the blender. I'm going to add a little bit of cream as I do this. You don't need a lot, just a little bit, and this adds um, sort of an extra flavor profile to it. You see, can you guys see that? Can you see the screen? Can you guys see this? Can you see what I'm doing? Can you see this? All right. So I'll take that. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, with this blender, I can turn it on, and then I'm just gonna put it on. First, make sure the top is like really strong on there. You don't want this like flying off and spraying the whole kitchen. That's always fun. And then usually what I do is I can put it on pulse mode, and then just uh, use mix and pulse it. So mix it. If you remember from the previous video, I've got, uh, got this corn that is looking good. So I'm not going to blend this, actually. I'm just going to keep this the way it is. Keep that as is. And uh, set that aside for now. And then in small batches, you just go through. Just go through in small batches and then blend this together. And so... What I do is I uh, just because I'm rotating rotating the food through, is uh, I'm going to uh, continue to grab it out of the main pot, bring it into my blender to blend it, and then that way that way it's going to look really good when I'm done. But uh, yeah, take out the main pot, put it in the blender, then I move it into the sort of the, the holding pot, I guess you could say. And then uh, after the holding pot, I move back to the main pot. So a little bit of like moving from pot to pot right now. So mix it. And you can 
can see when I'm doing this, as you can see that, uh, I mean, that's going to be the completed chowder. And then obviously you can see there is, uh, is when I'm mixing it. And that's going to be that uh, completed mixture right there. So I'm going to a little bit closer. You're probably going to just see my waist. You won't see my face, but that's okay. And the important thing for you to see is going to be seeing how it gets blended together. So again, just taking that. Trying not to splatter everything on my island. Mmm, tastes good. So I try to go through the main pot and just remove the bay leaves from before. Um, if you got any big chunks of time or anything, just take those out also. So just going through here, grabbing it. And I just keep adding a little bit, keep adding a little bit of cream each to each load. Put this on the blender. And then you just keep mixing, mixing, mixing one by one. Pretty evenly mixed up. Keep it going that way. It smells so good. It's got this nice texture to it that I love. And then, uh, we're getting, we're getting there. This is the ending, the end part of it. It could flop or. Sort of dirty, so I use my finger on the side side of the blender to take it off. But um, yeah, and then you work your whole way through, before, so you empty out the entire main pot. And then um, I'm basically there now at the bottom, so I'm just gonna take this whole thing and just tilt it in. And then uh, we're gonna be in a good spot here. Careful so I don't knock it over. Perfect. Put there. Finish off. Finish off the milk. Not the milk, the cream. What am I talking about? It's not the milk. I'll show you. I just used the. I just used. Heavy whipping cream is all you need to use. So I'm not using milk, I'm using heavy whipping cream. And pretty much, again, I had it, I had it uh, simmering. I cooked, I cooked it for a few minutes on uh, high heat. And I took this, then I took the whole thing and I turned it down. So the main stew, I took it all the way down to a low heat. And then I just let it, let it cook there on really low for about four to five minutes. And then uh, 10 minutes before it's done, I slowly heated the cream. Um, so not boiling, just barely below a boil. But barely boil, like some bubbles popping through it. There we go. And so now with the last one, this is gonna be done now. So the last one I don't need to put in the main bowl, bowl right now. I'm just tossing these in my sink so that way, uh, obviously, I can just clean that easier later on. Taking the main, taking the main bowl, putting that back into the original Le Creuset on the oven so that way it can just uh, stay warm as I'm eating this. Again, I have all good food straight from the bottom. Scrape it all out so you get all the good stuff out of there. Again, just uh, I'll watch this later on. And then uh, let me show you what's going on here. Hey, Brett. All right, get that better. Oh, look at that. See, now it's all blended together. So it has sort of that like golden color to it. And uh, yeah, it's looking really good. Maybe I'll take this on handheld. I have a little tripod, so I'll take it off and just hold it by, uh, by hand to see if this is better. And then uh, 
what I'm going to do now is uh, take in the, the blender of the magic sauce and then uh, just pour it in yeah, pretty quickly. You can also hold, a, hold a, something in there so you can pour it over it. I don't want to have a splatter over my entire uh, stove top, so I just pour it in quickly. And then uh, again, I'll wash that later on. I know. Thank you, Brett. Appreciate it. Thanks for the thumbs up. And then, um, and then you can see this. This is the corn chowder. So again, I, I like mine a little bit chunky. So I, I just set this aside. Remember, I set it aside, and um, just take that and put that on top. So that's going to add the next the ne sort of an extra dimension of flavor. I really like the flavor of um, just biting in the corn. Um, I have a bunch of relatives down in Nebraska. And it's just really good. And then, uh, yeah, you just take it and then mix it in nice together, mix it all, the, all together. And then uh, you're ready to serve it. So you can see, again, you could serve it with in a bowl. Maybe you can do some pretty designs with sriracha sauce on top of it. Um, but you can see that's uh, that's fire roasted corn chowder. I mean, I know you can't taste it, but it has a, it has a nice texture to it. So it keeps you warm on a cold summer day, but warm, warm keeps you warm on a cold winter day. I had that completely backwards. But it keeps you warm. And the nice thing is that the sriracha gives a little bit of kick to it. And then uh, earlier today, what I did is uh, made some really good rolls. So check out these guys. I mean, oh my goodness, look at those bad boys. So again, we, we purposely made those a little bit wide and flat. And uh, obviously, they're made to pick up the fire roasted corn chowder, which is going to be delicious. So, so anyways... That's the finale of the fire roasted corn chowder. I appreciate you guys uh, bearing with me as I figured out how to live stream on this hap, uh, on this HAPS app. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys tune in and uh, follow me for future recipes and things I'll do. Um, so yeah, if you have any recommendations for things you want me to uh, test out and try, I'd love to hear what you guys think. And yeah, this was fun. So I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully maybe next week I'll do something different and we'll see how this goes. So anyways. Appreciate it. You guys uh, have a great, uh, great December, great holiday. Stay warm and safe out there. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks, Brett. Appreciate it. Thanks for the, all the all the support virtually. Hope you guys are uh, staying safe out in L.A. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. Bye.